Hi guys, this is uh, Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics uh, Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland and this short video is going to consider number conversions. So it's going to deal with number conversions uh, and in particular we're going to concentrate on converting binary numbers, binary numbers to decimal numbers and back again, okay, going from decimal back to binary. Okay, so let's consider a binary number. Okay, so let's consider maybe the number 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. This is an 8-bit binary number, and because there's 8 bits in the number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And this number, this binary number, is said to be in the base 2. So we usually put a small subscript 2 there. Now, like our previous videos, uh, the types of number systems that we deal with are what are known as positional number systems, where each number within within the binary number represents a multiple of powers of 2. Where the first number here, the first digit, or the least significant digit, uh, represents how many powers of 2 to the power of 0 there is in the number. The second digit represents how many powers of 2 to the power of 1. Next one, how many powers of 2 to the power of 2. The next one, how many powers of 2 to the power of 3. The next one, how many powers of 2 to the power of 4. How many 2 to the powers of 5. How many 2 to the powers of 6. And how many 2 to the powers of 7 there are in our number. So, as a binary number, okay, we, uh, we consider this number to have 1, uh, 2 to the power of 0. 0, 2 to the powers of 1. 1, 2 to the power of 2. 1, 2 cubed, 0 of these 2's to the 4's, 1 of these 2's to the 3's, and 1 of these 2's to the 6, and 0, 2 to the 7's. So as a decimal number, this is equivalent to, well, there's 1, 2 to the power of 0, and there's 0, 2 to the power of 1's, and there's 1, 2 to the power of 2, and there's 1, 2 to the power of 3, and there's 0, 2 to the powers of 4, and there's 1, 2 to the power of 5, there's 1, 2 to the power of 6, and there's 0, 2 to the power of 7. Okay, let's just remember that 0 times any number is going to be 0, so this number here is going to reduce to 0, this is going to reduce to 0, and this is going to reduce to 0. So the only numbers we're concerned with here that actually contribute to the decimal number are where we have a, 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 a 1 times some multiple power of 2. So in this situation here, well we have 1 times 2 to the 0. Well 2 to the 0 is equal to 1, so this represents 1 times 1. Plus, we have 1 times 2 squared, which is the same as 1 times 4 plus 1 times 2 cubed is the same as 1 times uh, e, plus 1 times 2 to the 5, which is the same as 1 times 42, plus 1 times 2 to the 6, which is the same as 1 times 64, plus 1 times, or 0 times 2 to the 7, which is 0. Okay? So this reduces down to 1 times 1 is 1, plus 1 times 4 is 4, plus 1 times 8 is 8, plus 1 times 32 is 42, plus 1 times 64 is 64, which gives us a value of, okay, so 64 and 42 gives us 96, 96 and 8 gives us 104, 104 and 4 gives us 108, 108 and 1 gives us 109. So the number 101101110 in base 2 or in binary is equivalent to the number 109 in base 10. Okay, so let's reverse this process. Let's convert from decimal to binary. Okay, so to convert from decimal to binary, we're going to take the decimal number 109, which is in base 10, and we're going to convert that back to binary. So this new base that we want to go to is we want to go from base 10 into base 2. So the technique to convert this number 109 into, into binary or into base 2 is what we'll do is we'll successively divide 109 by 2 
And we'll keep track of how many times two goes into 109, but more importantly, we'll keep track of the remainder after division. So, two into one won't go, carry the one. Two into ten goes five times. Two into nine goes four times with a remainder of one. So, two into 54. So, two into 54, well, two into five goes twice with a remainder of one. Carry the one. Two into 14 goes seven times with a remainder of zero. What about 2 into 27? So 2 divided into 2 goes once, 2 into 7 goes 3 times with a remainder of 1. And what about 2 into 13? Well 2 into 1 won't go, 2 into 13 goes 6 times with a remainder of 1. What about 2 into 6? Well 2 into 6 goes 3 times with a remainder of 0. And what about 2 into 3? Well 2 into 3 goes once with a remainder of 1. And what about 2 into 1? Well 2 into 1 uh, won't go with a remainder of 1. So after we successfully divide, yeah, we stop when the number will not go in any further. Okay? So our new number, okay, so our new binary number, the most significant digit is listed here, and the least significant digit is listed here. So what we do is we take this number in this direction from here down, okay? okay? And we take it in groups of 4, so we start with the least significant digit, which is 1, the next least significant digit, which is 0, the next one, which is 1, the next one, which is 1. And that's our first block of 4. The next one is 0, the next one is 1, the next one is 1. And we usually represent these as, in this case, we always represent them as multiples of of 2s. Uh, so we need 8 numbers here, so we represent it as an 8-bit number. Yeah. So the number 109 in binary is equivalent to 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. Okay? Which is exactly the same as the number that we started with. Okay, uh, I hope that was helpful and informative. Uh, my name is Jonathan Lambert uh, with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland.